Hello everyone, welcome back to our Flutter and Firebase Mastery series on Baloj Dev YouTube channel. I am Anoma Nisa and today we are going to enhance our cart screen, adding some cool features and improvements. Let's dive right into the code. So as you see that we have just designed this screen in our previous lecture, when our cart is empty so we will just show this screen but what if when we had an item into the card so what and which screen we should we need to show to the users so let's have a look to our application uh, it looks so yeah i have added two items into the card in my actual application so this is the screen we will be just designing in today's video so we need an app bar here on the top in action icon which is the delete button and uh, here on the item we just need a, uh, an image the title the price and these three buttons to be on this screen and on the bottom we just need the, the bottom sheet which will show the totals and at the checkout button so yeah let's just begin by designing this page so I'll be just going back to my um, this application and now we will just uh, design that so first things first let's check if the cart is empty if it is we will display this screen otherwise we will show the items in the cart so we will be just adding a boolean variable so i have already added it so just add this boolean variable and we will check um, base of this boolean if it is false then show this if it is true then show another screen so just create a boolean variable here and just use it here uh, in this case also we will be just checking a condition here so is empty then show this is empty is true then show this screen otherwise show this screen which will be another scaffold and we just need um, an app bar here so I'll be just uh, copying our this uh, app bar from our profile screen so I'll just copy this and I'll just paste this here and now we just don't need a, this I'll just head a title and I'll be using our this title uh, text widget and I'll just give it a label to it which was card 5 and that's it I'll just set this here and let's see how it looks so now great it is looking uh, good now we just need a button here which we can achieve by using the uh, action property of our um, scaffold which was this sorry in the inside the app bar action and now we just uh, add a button here so which will be the icon button so we will be using the icon button because we will get this on press function into it so we will just perform some kind of action later on so i'll keep it empty for now and i'll just use the icon button here icon icon lee i'll just import it icon lee dot light and i'll use the delete button here and now i'll just set this so yeah we have got the icon here so let's just uh, make it red so i'll use the color property which will be colors dot red and that's it now I'll use the const keyword here and now i'll just switch to the light mode of our theme so let's see how it looks so i'll going back to my this screen and you see there title is disappeared now but actual title is here in the color of the title is white and the app bar background is also white so we will be just managing our theme with our this application so we will just uh, tackle this issue by going to our theme to data and here we will just define the title text style and the color accordingly so for that we will be just using the text uh, title style this text title style text the text style and now we will just uh, tackle this issue so we will check if it is in dark mode 
its color and if its dark theme is true so if it is in the dark mode so the color should be uh, white and if it is in the light mode the, and the color should be in black so i'll be just doing that and great now we will we are done so now it is visible so if the icon color was also white so it uh, won't show here because we just need to tickle the ember icon also so for that i'll be just uh, writing some kind of codes here for tickling the high uh, ember icon and managing the theme accordingly so i'll just use the icon icon theme and icon theme data so here i'll be just copying and pasting this again and our this uh, icon theme will be managed uh, accordingly so yeah that's great we are done from here and now we just uh, what we need oh, on this screen so in this screen we have required an image here the title the price and the three icons so for that we just uh, need a basic list view to show all the items in a list view form so I'll be just creating a list view So we will just create uh, uh, this um, widget card widget basically in a separate dart file to just manage and organize our code. So our code uh, should be much more readable and much more organized. So for that, I will be just going to my this screen and here I'll just create a new directory uh, which will be cart and I'll just store all my cart related codes in this directory so we will just uh, recognize where our cart related codes are so now I will be just creating a new dart file which will be cart widget dot dart and that's it now I'll just create the class here so here first on the body part i will just call however this uh, list view to show a list on our this screen so for that i'll be just uh, calling our list view build list view builder and this builder requires an item builder so i'll just provide that and now we just need to return some kind of list into it so for now i'll just uh, return this index so the label and i'll just return our this index and i'll just save this so we will be designing this uh, list view in that our cart widget so i'll be just doing that in a second so i'll just save this for here and we will just need to provide the item count also for now i'll just add code this and that's it so I'll just save or restart this. So yeah, we have got uh, our this list uh, view and the index numbers on our screen. So now let's just move to our cart widget and we will design the uh, cart screen here in a separate dart pile. So for that, we just need an image, the um, title, the price, and the three buttons here. So for that, we just need a row to show them uh, and achieve that result so i'll be just creating a state list widget first and i'll just name it cart widget and i'll just replace this placeholder to a row great now the row requires children and inside this children now we just need uh, our image to be shiny while it's loading loading so we just need the shimmer uh, effect into it so we will be just using a package here which i have already installed in my pubspec.yml file uh, which is pensy shimmer image so you can just get it from your pubspec uh, pub.dev site so that community and you can just install it using the terminal just add flutter pub add and just add this image name package name and your package will be installed into your uh, project so you can just copy and paste the name here so you, the, the package will be installed so great i have already installed it and now i'll be just using this so i'll be just using the fancy shimmer image and we also just need to import it so i'll be just importing it there you go 
now i'll just use this image so it requires the url so i'll be just providing it so i'll be just going here and i'll just search for an image which will be so now what i will be doing so i'll just call this my class into there uh, on my cart screen to just show this cart widget on the screen so i'll be just getting what i'm designing so i'll just now cut this from here this title widget and i'll just call my that widget which was cart widget that's it now i'll just use the cons to remove the warnings and that's it now i'll just save this and you will see an image here great now a shiny effect was also shown uh, when loading so that's it we just wanted that so now i'll just be setting the height accordingly so i'll be just using our media query to make our uh, this application responsive at the moment so we will be just moving to our uh, so we will be just creating the size here so we will be just getting the size according to our devices and just calculating the size based on the devices so our application will be responsive so size size is equal to media query dot of context and i'll be just getting the size by this size i'll be just uh, getting the height and the width so i'll be just calculating the height uh, here so i'll be just using the size dot height and multiply it with 0 0.2 so here what i'm just doing so i'm just using the 20 percent of our screen and just multiplying this uh, 0 0.2 with our actual height whatever height we will be just getting by the media query and we will just use the 20 percent of the screen um great that's it so now i'll just uh, use the same uh, with our width so i'll just get the width right width amount so there's it now we just uh so we are getting what we wanted so i'll be just uh also now giving some kind of padding so you see there's a need some kind of a spacing so i'll just uh use the rep our row with the padding widget so uh, that's it so i'll just save this and now you will see we are done so i'll just move to this dark screen again and we will see what we are getting so yeah that's it now we just need some kind of um, rounded corner corner so you see the corners are too sharp so i just need to make them uh, rounded a bit so for that i'll be just uh, wrapping my this fancy shimmer uh, with a widget which is called wrap with a widget and i'll just use the clip her rect and i'll use the border radius here border radius and the border radius to circular and i'll just give it 20. that's it i'll just save this and now you will see the rounded corners here great so now here we just need the title the price and the three buttons for that we will be just uh moving ahead here i will just using um, the row widget so row widget again this requires children and now this uh inside this children we will just use our title text widget and i'll just give it a level to it title which will be title for now and i'll just save this and that's it we have got the title and we just need some kind of uh, gaps between them so i'll just use my this sized box here i'll get just width and 10 will be fine great so now i'll just uh, check um, if our title goes too big here and what we will be just getting so i'll just multiply it with 10 and let's see uh, what we just be getting here so yeah we have got some kind of errors or flow issue so this uh, by by uh when our title will be too too long so we will be just getting this overflow issue so we will be just tickling all this issue overflows issue um, 
with our uh, project so i'll be just tackling this issue now and we will just solve this how can we just do that so let's just format the code and after formatting the code so i'll just wrap my this title widget with the sized box so i can be able to um, give it a size so where is the size box and here you go now i'll just uh, give it the width size so i'll be just using my size dot width and i'll just uh, use 60 percent of my width and for the title so i'll just save this and yeah we have um still getting this issue so let's just make the max line 2 let's see if this solves yeah line cam uh, down but we are still getting the issue so let's just uh, so in this row we also need the amount here so we will just wrap this row with the column widget and i'll save this again and now i'll just do what i'll just uh, wrap my this widget uh, with another widget which will be m intrinsic width and i'll just save this and this so we are still getting the error so i'll just auto restart it and let's check uh if you are still having the error or not so i'll just move to my card screen again and yeah we are still having this error so i'll just wrap this widget again with the widget and this time it will be petted box and i'll just save this so we are still having that issue so yeah we are just still getting the that overflow issue so to resolve this issue so we will be just going uh, to the top and now i'll be just uh wrapping our this padding widget with the uh entrance sync width widget width widget and i'll save this and let's see what we will be just getting and yeah our issue is still there and i'll just uh wrap this widget with the the petted box and let's see this time our issue will be solved or not so i'll be just using our petted box here and that's it i'll just save this and there you have it um our issue our overflow issue is just solved so i'll be you know moving ahead we have got multiple um solutions for there so i have just applied all of them here and we are done by solving this overflow issue great so now i'll be just using the column widget here to just show uh, the two buttons um here one delete button and the other one will be our wish list button and the third will be uh, the quantity button to just control that quantity so i'll be just using the column widget and the children and the icon button so i'll just um, do empty the function for now and i'll just use the icon icons and icon lee so i'll just use the icon so yeah we have got the delete icon so i'll just make it red which will be colors dot red and i'll just save this and i'll use the cons keyword here and that's it now i'll just copy this icon again for our wish list button so i'll just cut uh copy hold the code here and uh, i'll just change this icon here and yeah that's it we have added two icons here now i'll uh, just come out of my this column and draw widget and i'll be uh writing code inside our main column widget and here i'll use a row widget again this time will be children and now we just need to show the price here and the button of 
quantity control here so for that i'll be just using our subtitle uh, widget and i'll just use the title and show the price and to show the dollar sign uh, with our this uh, uh, text so we just need to use the power slash here so i'll just save this and see how it looks great it's looking good so now i will be just using uh, and increasing the font size of this i'll use the 20 and i'll just change the color to blue and that's it i'll just save this and see what we will be getting great we just uh, getting the amount uh, and the color blue and the font size is 20 that's it we just wanted that and now i'll just create a button here for our quantity control so i'll be just using the outline button dot icon which will be outline button dot icon so here we will be just getting uh, the on press function and we just be able to use the icon here so i'll be just using the arrow down icon so for that i'll be using the icon icon lee light and the down arrow that's it now i'll just give it a label to it and the label will be this so it requires a widget i guess so yeah it requires a widget so i'll just cut this from here and use our text widget and i'll paste that and now i use the cons keyword and save this again and great we have got our this button so now we just need to move our this button here so there are two ways to do that so if you use um, a spacer here or you can just use the row main access alignment so yeah i'll be just using the spacer for now let's see and great we are done so you can also use the row main access alignment of row to just use the space between to just shift this button here so mm, you can do that also so i'll just use the const const set this so great now we are done so i'll be just uh, styling our this outline button for a bit so we just need to make the corners rounded so i'll be just doing that and i'll be just giving it some kind of borders to it so for that i'll just use the style uh, outline outline button dot from style and now inside this i just need the shape and the rounded uh, rectangle border and inside that now i just need to use the border radius and I'll just give it the border radius to circular and I'll use 30 and let's see how it looks and great now we have just made it so I'll just uh, also give it some kind of borders to it so for the border I use the side uh, border side and I'll use the width to 2% uh, and I'll use the color colors dot blue great i'll just save this and now i'll just use the course keyword here that's great so now i'll just check it in my the light mode so we'll see how our light mode how it looks in the light mode so great it is looking great so now we will be just designing the bottom sheet so we will just see uh on our actual application so we just need to design this part so here uh we will be just getting the bottom sheet so uh, let's just design this so i'll be just going back and now i'll be just designing the bottom sheet in a separate uh, dart file here so i'll just create a dart file which will be cart bottom check out dot dot and i'll just create a stateless widget here 
and I'll just name it cut bottom checkout that's it now I'll just use so that's it now I'll just replace this placeholder with a row so as you saw that we are using a row to get this so a column widget basically for both of them and a row widget to add this checkout button so we will be just doing that so for now I'll be just um, using a column widget for I'll just wrap it uh, again with a row so a column widget column requires children and inside this uh, children now I'll just need to use the uh, title the title will be we will be just using our custom title which was title text widget and I'll give it a, a label to it which was total six products or six items so I'll just save this and now we just need to call the bottom sheet inside our cart screen so I'll be just going to my cart screen again and now here I'll just use the bottom sheet and now I'll be just calling my date uh, cart bottom class which we have just created and I'll import this use the cons keyword and I'll just save this and we have got our cart bottom and we will just design this accordingly so I'll be just moving again uh, to my cart bottom checkout dot class and here we will just need to um, use the sized box here to just give it a height I'll be using the sized box and the height and I'll be using the K bottom navigation bar height and I'll plus it with 10 and let's see now how it's low so yeah we have got this but now it is uh, small so we will just uh, tackling this issue also so I'll just wrap my this column widget with the row widget so we need a button here also so I'll be just wrapping it with the row widget and inside the row widget now we just uh, uh save this and let's see what it how it looks and great now we have got what we wanted so here we also need some kind of padding so i'll just wrap my this widget with the padding widget and this time i'll just give it a cement trick and i'll just use the horizontal and the vertical so i'll just use horizontal 18 and vertical to 10 and I'll save this so yeah we just added some kind of parents and now it look it is looking good so we will just add the subtitle here also which will be subtitle text widget our custom subtitle text widget and I'll just add the total amount here and as you know that if you want to show the dollar sign we will be using the forward slash and I'll just use the color uh to blue colors dot blue and that's it i'll just save this and now we will be just getting this so i will be just using the cross axis alignment cross axis alignment dot start and i'll just save this and this will just go to a start as we wanted and now we just need to add a button here so i'll be just adding that button I'll save this and we have just got the button but we just need to bring this button here so I'll be just going to my this uh, row and I'll just use the space between property of it and that's it so I'll be just checking my this title so for the overflow issue so I'll just multiply it with 10 and that's it I'll just use it and let's see we have got the uh, workflow issue so we will be just solving this issue too so for that we just uh, need to wrap our this uh, title widget with the widget and that widget will be fitted box and I'll just save this and let's see what we have got and our issue is not solved yet 
so i'll be just wrapping my this column widget with a flexible widget and i'll save this and great now our this so great now whatever and whenever our title will be longer it will be just uh, similar so it is now flexible so i'll just do it five and let's see now we are getting that but the size is very much small and now we'll just use this and we are getting that great now great now we will not be getting the overflow issue over this uh, title so great now i'll just use the cons keyword here to remove the warnings and that's it so now i just need to change the color background color of this checkout so i'll be just uh using a container so for that we will be just going uh to the top and i'll just wrap this sized box to a container and now inside the container i'll be just designing this and changing the color so for that we will just need to use the decoration property of it and decoration property the box decoration and inside the box decoration i'll just use the color and i'll be just taking the color from the theme which is theme dot of context and i'll just set the scaffold color that's it now i just also need some kind of borders on the top so i'll just uh use the border the border top border side width to one and i'll give it a color colors dot gray great now i'll just save this and let's see how it looks great now we are just uh getting what we wanted so i'll save this and format the code and use the cons keyword here and now great we are done so what's what is the next now we just need to design this button when i click here so we just get a pop-up and we just uh, can be able to select the quantity quantity accordingly so yeah let's just do that so for that i'll be just going back to my this cart widget and here on the on pressed uh, i'll be just doing here on the on pressed i'll be just calling the show model bottom sheet and as you know that it is a future function so we will be just using the async keyword here and make this Await for a while so whatever it needs to get so it will just get it Await and that's it so now we just it requires a builder so i'll just provide the builder and we will just return uh the class so we will be just defining this class and designing this class the bottom sheet and uh in a second so i'll just call this for now quantity bottom sheet widget great now i'll be just creating this in a separate dart file so i have not created this yet so i'll be just doing that uh, i'll just save this and now i'll be just creating a new dart file here and which will be quantity bottom sheet widget dot dot and here i'll be just creating a state list widget and i'll just name it to quantity bottom sheet widget and that's it i'll just save this and now i'll just import this class from here and how error is solved great now i'll just save this and i'll be just going back to my this bottom sheet and now i'll just design this so now i will just replace this widget with a list view builder and as you know that list view builder requires an item builder so i'll just provide the item builder to it and now i'll just return a title text widget and i'll just use the index for now to be print on the screen when i click on this button so yeah i'll just click this and we have got uh this indexes 
here so i'll just define the uh, item to what i wish um, how many items should be shown on the screen so which is item count and for now i'll just need 30 uh, should be shown on the screen great so to make them center i'll just use so here i just use my subtitle text widget and how this uh index which are being shown which was here we will be just moving to our subtitle text and you see we have just added the line to our this subtitle text for that reason this is just went to center so for that uh we will be just going back to our quantity bottom sheet widget and designing this accordingly and now here we are getting the zero so we don't need this zero to be shown so we will be just making it uh plus one and i'll just save this and there you have it so now zero is removed it is starting from one and that's it so now we just need to make it clickable so for that reason we will be just uh wrapping our this widget with a widget which is gesture detector and this gesture detector provides the on tape functionality so we will be just using that functionality and uh, i'll be just uh printing whenever i click on one of them so we will just need to print this in the console so i'll be just using the print and the index index plus one to this now i'll just uh, click this so we are getting whatever we are just clicking so great uh, that's it so let's just see uh, on the, our actual application uh, we are doing the same thing or not here uh, here the design is a bit different we just need to make the design and the corner rounded and we just need to add this uh, line here so yeah let's just do that quickly so for that to add the line here so we just need to make our uh, wrap our this list view widget with a column widget so i'll be just doing this so i'll just cut cut my this list view builder from here and use the column widget inside the column children and i'll just paste this now and i'll just use this and this great and now we will be just getting some kind of error because so we just need to specify the uh, spaces for our list view, list view builder so we just need to uh, give it the whole the available spaces to the list view builder so we just need to wrap it with the expanded widget and i'll just save this and yeah we will be just getting that back uh, great so here now i'll just use a container to just show that line so i'll just use the container here that's it so now i'll just give it a i to it six and width uh, to 50 so it will be bold and i'll just give it a color and decorate it so i'll be using the box decoration and inside the box decoration i'll be using the border radius um, border radius dot circular and i'll give it 12 and i'll just use the color gray which will be colors dot gray that's it we have got that line so we just need to uh, give it some kind of spacings on the top so i'll be just using our sized box which will be i20 i'll set this and great we have just got what we wanted so here also i'll just copy this size box from here and paste it here and that's it 
so now we will be just designing this and making the rounded corner this side and this side and also changing the color of it so for that we will be just moving to our uh, cart widget class again so i'll be going back to my cart widget and now we will be just designing that so here on the show model bottom sheet i will be just using the background color and i'll be just getting the background color from our theme dot of context and now i'll just use the scaffold background color whatever scaffold color will be so however this uh, widget color will be same to that great we are done by doing that and now i just need to make the corner rounded so i'll just do that by using the shape and the shape rounded rectangle border and i'll just use the border radius and the border radius dot only so i'll be just doing that i just want to give it top left and the top right some kind of radius so i'll just use the property top left and the radius dot circular 16.0 great so i'll just save this now i'll just copy this again and paste it now i'll just use the top right that's it i'll just save this and now we will be just getting some kind of rounded corners on the top so i'll just click this again and there you have it we have got that i'll be just using some kind of cons keyword here and yeah there you have it we have enhanced our cart screen with a dynamic item list a clear cart option and a checkout bottom sheet if you have any questions or suggestions drop them in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one where we will continue our flutter and firebase mastery journey fb fluttering